What's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today we're having a PU tier match against GG from Discord. If you guys would like to battle me, hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, or Discord. Links as always are in the description below as well as my Pokemon sets and stuff are down there as well if you get curious. So we're having another PU tier match. I know, I know guys, I've been doing literally nothing but PU lately and I'm sure you guys want to see some other shit, but I'm really enjoying the tier guys. Hope you guys will understand. <laughs> Um, but we're using the same team as last video and my opponent is using a Sun team revolving around Lipard, uh, which is obviously a Sun setter. Also has access to Prankster, which is a bit annoying. Um, he also has the Armaldo, Leafeon, Charizard, the... Fuck, what is this thing called? Walrein and the Arbok. So this was a really interesting match, guys. <laughs> there was a lot of just really bad luck between both of us. Like. My opponent was missing attacks, and I was getting really low rolls on my attacks. So this battle is pretty interesting, guys. I hope you'll enjoy it. So the battle begins. I'm going to lead off with my Clefairy, and I kind of assumed my opponent would lead off with his or her Lipard. And uh, forgive me if you're actually a guy, but because your trainer is a female, I'm going to assume your gender and call you a female throughout this battle. Um, but anyway, my opponent is going to lead off with the Lipard. It is a pretty solid lead just because it gets access to Prankster. Um, and it's a pretty solid weather setter. So she's going to fake out on the first turn, which is pretty obvious. And then she's going to U-turn out, obviously not wanting to take the uh, Stab Moonblast coming her way. <laughs> as that would definitely Oko the Lipard. Lipard is paper thin frail. And uh, yeah, honestly, I probably should have predicted that. I just didn't want her to go for the Taunt. Um, so yeah, I just went for Moonblast there as she brings in her Wall Rain. Now she's going to Super Fang me, that's going to cut my remaining HP in half. And uh, I'm going to set up some Stealth Rocks here. Stealth Rocks are actually very important in this battle. Um, just because my opponent's team is actually actually rather frail, uh, or at least rather weak to the Stealth Rocks is what I meant to say. Sorry, I'm, I'm tired guys, I'm narrating this, it's like 1am. <laughs> um, so anyway, she's going to go for an Ice Beam, I'm actually a fully HP... Uh, and special defense uh, Clefairy here with Eviolite, so I'm gonna eat that and uh, go for a soft boil there get some HP back Here I'm gonna bring out the Hitmonchan because I knew I could take basically anything my opponent wanted to throw at me and uh, She actually decides to go for another super thing. Unfortunately, she actually misses her attack and that is a <laughs> That's an ongoing theme this battle and uh, here my best play was going for ice punch because it basically hits neutral on the majority of her team and uh, luckily for me, my opponent actually brings out the Leafeon on the Ice Punch. So I score a super effective punch right on that Leafeon. And uh, that is fantastic. My opponent, for whatever reason, goes for the uh, the Synthesis. And that's not really going to help, <laughs> unfortunately. So I'm actually going to go for another Ice Punch. And that Leafeon has definitely seen some better days. Um, now my opponent is going to swap out into the Armado. Going to take some Stealth Rocks. And uh, this Mach Punch here, obviously the Mach Punch was for the Leafeon, but um, yeah, Armaldo is uh, already at like half. So my boy, man, let me tell you guys, Hitmonchan has been putting in the finest of work lately, except for right here. So this is another theme, this battle. I get really low rolled there, and uh, unfortunately Armaldo is able to live and get off the Rapid Spin, so that's going to get rid of my rocks. And like I said before, her team is really weak to rocks, so it's really, really unfortunate that um, I got low rolled there and that drain punch didn't kill. So here she is able to bring out her Charizard, and uh, because <laughs> because she got rid of the rocks, Charizard is not going to get butt fucked by the rocks. So I'm gonna go for drain punch. It actually still does a decent amount of that Charizard. Not gonna lie. <laughs> um, had she actually brought in the Charizard on Stealth Rocks and that Drain Punch, I probably would have just stayed and gone for Mog Punch and killed the thing. Um, but I'm actually going to swap out into Clefairy, my special defense wall, as uh, my opponent goes for an Air Slash there, and yet again, my opponent misses. What is the chance? Like, I feel like Air Slash is like 95 accuracy, so there's a 5% chance, and my opponent fucking missed. That sucks. So here, I'm going to go for the T-Wave. I was actually kind of wondering if maybe... I don't know what I was wondering, but anyway... It's going to paralyze the Armaldo. I guess I was maybe thinking she would like switch out into something. Um, but yeah, here I'm just able to go for the Moonblast and I outspeed because of the T-Wave. 
and that's going to get rid of her rapid spinner which is awesome for my team so as soon as i can get rocks up again um they're basically there to stay so now my opponent makes a great play bringing out the arbok i'm forced to switch because i definitely do not want to take a gunk shot and uh, that is going to allow my opponent to basically get up a free coil um it really sucks because clefairy couldn't do anything to this thing so I'm going to bring out my boy uh, Folly Ado, which is a <laughs> Follow Boy reference, and um, I'm going to just go for the Earthquake, but unfortunately because of that coil, uh, ah, <laughs> words, because of that coil earlier, um, she is able to live that, and uh, she goes for an Earthquake back, so we're both just shaking the ground, what is this like fucking Mexico City out here, and uh, unfortunately that is going to kill off my Electivire, so... Unfortunately, this battle, I'm not able to get off the uh, the Electric Terrain Swoobat thing. <laughs> Actually, I don't even think Swoobat came out at all this battle. Now that I think. Yeah, I don't think it did. Holy crap. Anyway, spoilers. <laughs> I'm going to bring out Pyro here as my opponent is going to swap out back out into the Wall Rain as I go for a Hyper Voice here. And uh, it's going to live like right around half-ish. And so here I was thinking, do I swap or go... Or do I go for another hyper voice? And here, I get low rolled again. Actually, I take that back. I think, I think my first hyper voice was a low roll, and then that one was a high roll. But it actually, he told me, or he or she, uh, told me after the battle that they lived on literally one HP, and they got the fucking rest off. That pissed me off so much, guys. And because I swapped, and the un, the un, whatever that ability is that makes it to where. Uh, you can't eat berries uh, because I swapped he's actually able to eat his chester berry and wake up so god damn it <laughs> that freaking wall rain is now back up to full health <laughs> it sucks um so here my opponent is going to switch into the lie part as I bring in my cacturn honestly guys this was a really really stupid play on my part I don't know why the hell I brought in cacturn on this thing <sighs> I know somebody's gonna say something about it in the comment section I agree you guys that was why the hell did I do this? So I went for Sucker Punch there, um, expecting a U-turn, but my opponent actually sets up the sun, and then there, I should have gone for Sucker Punch just to break the sash. Guys, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. My opponent is just going to U-turn me into the next galaxy. <laughs> I literally lost Cacturn for no fucking reason. It was so dumb. I don't know why I did that, guys. It was so bad. <laughs> so here I'm just gonna bring out my boy Hitmonchan I'm gonna go for the mock punch because I know my opponent set up that Sun and uh, I know Leafeon gets access to chlorophyll and it's gonna be speedy and it's probably gonna try to heal and I don't want to let that happen so my opponent is going to bring back out the Charizard I'm gonna have to swap here back out into tiny wings and uh, here <laughs> my poor opponent I actually get kind of lucky here uh, I think it's maybe the next turn but my opponent goes for an Air Slash there, and uh, I live on 60, my opponent tries to go for Fire Blast in the sun and misses, guys! And I'm able to get up a Soft Boiled, so that's gonna put me up uh, to relatively good health here. Man, my opponent, <laughs> my opponent and I really got shit on this battle a lot. Me with the damage rolls and my opponent missing. But uh, here my opponent is gonna go for a Fire Blast as I'm able to go for the T-Wave on the Charizard. And that is basically going to seal the deal for Charizard here. Um, now that it's crippled, it is literally not a threat whatsoever to my team. Thank God, this thing is such a threat in the sun. <laughs> but uh, my opponent unfortunately gets fully paralyzed there. I'm able to go for another soft boiled. I'm all the way back up to full health, which is excellent for me. And uh, my opponent's just going to swap out here and bring out King George once again, which is the wall rain as I set up some rocks. So. Now that the rocks are back up, he literally has no way of getting rid of them, which is excellent. Um, I think the majority of whatever's left of his team, or his or her team, uh, is weak to rocks in some form. So here I'm just going to swap out into Hitmonchan as my opponent is going to go for the super thing. Either way, it d literally does not matter to Hitmonchan at all. And uh, I'm actually able to just go for the Drain Punch here and uh, get some delicious HP back as my opponent is going to bring out the Charizard. And uh, I think it actually lives on 1 HP <laughs> from, from the Stealth Rocks, guys. And uh, I go for the Drain Punch, and I actually get like 1 HP back from that. That is 
Dude, this is like the battle of like really narrow miss feints or something. Like, I swear, like half my opponent's team barely hangs on. It's it's crazy. So my opponent literally has nothing for this Hitmonchan, and uh, I'm able to just drain punch the hell out of this freaking this wall rain. And uh, I'm going to basically be, yeah, I am at full health. <laughs> Wall Rain actually has pretty solid HP. I think it's like, I think it gets max 404 HP or something like that at level 100. Or it might be even more than that. I'm not sure. But uh, here my opponent is going to bring out the Arbok. The Intimidate literally does not matter. My opponent's going to go for a Gunk Shot here. It actually outspeeds me. Hitmonchan is slow as balls. But I do live that. But my opponent actually does get a little lucky here. And uh, it actually snags the poison there on the gunk shot. What is the... I forgot what the percentage was for gunk shot or whatever. Is it 30% or is it 10? Either way, doesn't matter. <laughs> this battle is basically over at this point. My opponent basically only has one mon left. And it is the lie part here. So here... Uh, my opponent's going to get hit by the Stealth Rocks. That is going to break any Focus Sashes. And here, of course, my opponent is going to Fake Out. But uh, I think I have, like, two Mons left, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyway, all I have to do at this point is just bring in Clefairy. And uh, I'm basically able to just Moonblast this thing. He's going to go for a U-turn, but he can't U-turn into anything because the rest of his team is gone. And uh, this Moonblast is going to seal the deal on this battle, so... Great game, GG. We'll definitely battle again sometime. I enjoyed this. This battle was kind of crazy. It was, <laughs> it was definitely a roller coaster on both sides. Just all different types of emotions. <laughs> and uh, I made a really dumb play with the Cacturn. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. I, I definitely did. And uh, I love you guys. I'm going to get out of here. Peace out.